Hello YouTube. Okay, we are back with, uh, finally I got a clear night and I'm going to do some testing here with the Sony a7S Mark II on the live view for video. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some adjustments. This is with currently at uh, uh, manual shutter speed 125 and an ISO of 800. We're going to go ahead and bring that ISO up. And we're going to bring that up. Let's see if we can bring this up to. I'm doing a cell phone, by the way, on the app through uh, Play Memories, uh, Sony Play Memories, to make the adjustments. I'm up to ISO 3200. And we'll bring that up to 51. And then there's 64,000. And that was 102. It gets a little grainy there. Bring it up to about 80,000. It's still a little grainy there. Let's bring it to about 64. Now that's 64,000 ISO. And let me adjust my shutter speed. That's 125th of a second. Let me go 120th. Let's go 113th. Now we're getting a little noise at 113th. I can actually do one, one quarter. It really brings it up almost like daylight. But let me bring that down. 110th or 113th. Okay, I'm just taking a little more. 115th of a second. And I don't think the Milky Way, I'm trying to look at the stars here. Uh, I have a hard time without a filter here picking it up anyway. Um, but uh, it is pretty dark back here. But I've, I've got some ambient, as you can tell, to the left. I've got some plazas, shopping plazas, that uh, throw off some light. So I still need to get a filter for this, a light pollution filter. Um, but um, this is what we're looking at. It's 64,000. And that's manual focus. And this is the uh, 4K video um, with play memories through my cell phone making adjustments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the shutter speed up just to here and I'll bring the ISO back down. Let's see if we can go up with the shutter speed and back down with the ISO. Now that's at 40,000 ISO with a shutter speed of 1 8th. And you can clearly see the stars. Um, I'm probably thinking if I had uh, if I had uh, some light, light pollution filter, I would uh, probably be able to set the shutter speed all the way up and uh, to let as much uh, light in, and then uh, would be able to, uh, you know, cut down a lot of that that light pollution that's there. But uh, Jupiter is out, and I have this uh, pointed in the direction of Jupiter, and. Uh, so I wanted to do a little test. It's been uh, a long winter, and uh, it just seems like it went bounce right into summer on me. So it's a relatively cool summer evening. Today's June the 10th, I believe, 9th or 10th, and uh, Saturday evening. And finally got a clear enough sky to do a little more testing with this and try to get uh, the hang of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a few more adjustments here, see if we can get a little better. That's it. 80,000 ISO. Let's go to 64. So there's 64,000 ISO. Shutter speed 1 8th. And the white balance is auto, I believe. Um, yeah, I have an auto white balance. And that is the uh, picture I'm getting. I'm going to go ahead and move this tripod here a little bit. Let's see if I can't. Uh, that was interesting. When I moved it just a little bit, those stars seemed like they brightened up a little bit. Let me pull this up. That's the top of the umbrella here that I'm working with. That's interesting when I move this at those stars. It's probably because they're star trailing, I would imagine, because of the shutter speed. Let me see if I can pick this up here and do a little bit, uh, move this around just a bit. See if we can pick something up. 
but right straight out there is Jupiter and I'm going to ultra super wide lens tonight and going that way won't do me much good because I do have a lot of light that throws off from some of the buildings that are back there so that is where we are at so let me go ahead and set this back down so we can get a better picture and let's see if we can rotate this up a little bit get it past that umbrella rotate that just a little bit more Okay, so that is a live video test of the um, Sony A7S. It's pretty dark out here, um, and uh, but uh, I saw that flash of light up there. Oh, that was going to be so cool to catch a supernova, right? Like happen right before your eyes. So this concludes it. I'm going to go ahead and do a few. Bring that ISO down just a little because it looks a little noisy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some exposures now, some long-term exposures. So, you know, let's, tell you what, let's bring this down here. Let's bring that ISO down to 20,000. Let me open up the shutter and see if that helps a little bit. Makes any kind of difference. Might be a little better there with a the lower ISO. So that's one quarter with 20,000 ISO. So, anyway, I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video here on the live view and uh, just kind of play around with it. I'm still just trying to get the hang of this camera, so forgive me, I don't know. Uh, a lot of these settings, it's a very intuitive camera, so there's a lot going on with it. So I'm um, going to go ahead and do a couple of uh, uh, some other things with it and uh, play around with it. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. If, um, if you haven't joined my channel, I sure would appreciate you joining. Uh, and uh, as always, uh, thanks so much. Everybody have a great rest of the weekend. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.